Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to my God. Glory, glory to God this morning. Come on. Come on. Give him praise. Give him praise. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to my God this morning. Glory to God this morning. I want you to know that whatever you need, my God's got it. My God's got it. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. My God's got it this morning. My God has it this morning. Glory to our God on this morning. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to a wonderful day that the Lord has made. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, and we you. will rejoice. I say we will yeah. rejoice yeah. and be glad in it on this yeah. morning. Yeah. We are happy that you have joined us this morning for Sunday School here at Providence Church of God in Christ. We are thankful to the Lord for our pastor this morning, Pastor Amen. Marshall Newsom. Amen. And we are thankful for each one of you that are here, that have gotten up in, in an obedient mind mm -hmm. and come forth, uh, press some, but we're also thankful for you that are Amen. joined us here um, on our social media platform. Amen. We just want to give God praise this yes. morning. Amen. We want to thank God because this is a good day. Yes. It's yes. a good day as we travel through. Yes. It is a good day. And you know that we face a lot in this world today. Yes. And I thank God today for the lesson with, with the Apostle Peter will give us good instructions Amen. and teach us some things about going through the fire. Amen? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Join Dick and Snots right now for a word of prayer. Yes, Lord. Dear awesome God, we praise you and honor your name for allowing us to worship you and to share the goodness of who you are with others. Keep us focused on Jesus and all that you want us to do here on earth as we serve others and care for all generation creation. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 And if you continue to join Dick and Snots, she will lead us in our um, responsive reading on this morning. She will read the superintendent and let us follow with the response by the school. Amen. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. Psalms 133 and 1. School. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you are called into one body, and be ye thankful. Colossians 3.15. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, they will still be praising thee. Psalms 84 and 4. School. Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. Psalm 111 and 1. And the Lord said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and thy supplication that thou hast made before me. I have hallowed this house which thou hast built to put my name there forever. Mine eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. 1 Kings 9, 3. School. And ye shall keep my Sabbath and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. Leviticus 19.30 And I say also unto thee, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Matthew 16.18 School My soul longeth, fainteth for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. Psalm 84.2 And other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and there shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. John 10, 16, school. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou ought to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and the ground of truth, 1 Timothy 3, 15. And let us all lift up your hands, hands in, in the, the sanctuary and bless the Lord. Psalms 134 and 2. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We lift up our hands this morning, and yeah. we do indeed bless the Lord this morning. And I just want to get us started this morning with our lesson number 10 for May 7th, uh, 2023. It's titled, A Living Hope. Somebody say, A Living Hope. A Living Hope. Now, A Living Hope, it is important. Thanks to God, it's important for us to look positively towards the future because we have a blessed hope in Christ. So we can look forward, even in these times, look forward towards the future. Now this outlook mm -hmm. uh, protects our minds from the onslaught of the, of the, of the uh, concerns of this world and the things that's swirling around us all the time. This type of hope, this living hope, has a power, Amen. oh God, yes. and produces change in life. Yes. Glory to our God. Yes. So. Christian's hope is a strong, confident, 
confidence in God. Amen. That's the hope we are talking about Amen. on this morning. Our Bible basis is found in 1 Peter, verses chapter 1, uh, verses 3 through 12. And the Bible truth says Peter focuses our attention on the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yes. Now I want us class to keep that focus in mind this morning on that resurrection uh, as we move forward because this mm -hmm. is where our blessed hope uh, for la la living hope comes from, from the resurrection of Jesus Christ and what he did for us. Mm -hmm. He caused this. Yeah. He caused us to have this right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this world that we're in this morning. Mm -hmm. Look at what's mm -hmm. going on. But listen to me. Peter mm -hmm. is going to encourage your hearts this morning. Mm -hmm. He encouraged the, 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 uh, a dispersed church. And this word was written to them, but it's also, understand, written to us. Right. Amen. The memory verse says, and I want you to repeat after me, Blessed be the God. Blessed be the God. And the Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ. And the Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Which according to his abundant mercy. Which according to his abundant mercy. Hath begotten us again. Has begotten us again unto a lively hope by re by the resurrection. Unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ of from the Jesus dead. Christ. Christ from the dead. From Amen. The dead. Amen. Amen. First Peter one and three. This lesson aimed this morning. Uh, it's it, it will it will. We want to know. It'll teach us mm -hmm. how we can find meaning in life's challenges. Feel the hope of Christ and be able to share, saints of God. Now, we're supposed to do this. Amen. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be sharing the gospel. Yes. Yes. Now, that's a, that's, that is a requirement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Be able to share the hope with others and actively turn to Christ for hope and guidance. Amen. I know this is a lot to keep in mind, saints of God, but take your notes. Huh? Mm -hmm. And write down the nuggets that you can hold on to. Yeah. You need to hold on to some things. Yes, sir. Do a lot of talking, but I don't see a lot of recording. Mm. Y'all got to learn this thing, what, what a school is for. Y'all been to school before, haven't That's you? Y'all right. probably didn't take notes in school either because y'all was smart. <laughs> y'all had that, 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 that wow. mind that could remember things. <laughs> but listen, to, listen to our lessons overview this morning. And our overview, to know that hope in Jesus Christ keeps us focused on God. Our Bible learning. The resurrection of Christ is the promise that we will be raised as well with Christ. The Bible application, to appreciate the blessing God has given us through Jesus and our students' responses. Students will plan ways to be thankful for the joy that we receive in knowing that our hope, that our hope in Jesus is everlasting. Amen. Amen. And that application said, appreciate the blessings mm -hmm. God has given us through Jesus. Now understand that those that lived before Christ, they didn't have this hope. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. They didn't have what you and I had. That's right. They didn't have the risen Savior. Mm -hmm. We are blessed because his spirit lives with us. Amen. It, it dwells down on the inside of us. And therefore, we are more blessed today because we have access to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. right. And you got to understand, we, have the, we don't have the carnal mind, so the spiritual mind. We see things in the spirit. That's right. Amen. And you Amen. must listen in the spirit yeah. On this morning. Amen. Amen. Now let us shed, shed a little light on the word <clears throat> before the introduction. Now understand that there is no doubt mm -hmm. in this lesson as it implies that the Apostle Peter mm -hmm. is the author of this epistle. Well, he introduced himself as such in 1 Peter 1 and 1. Mm -hmm. We also note that he is writing to strangers, perhaps Greek converts, in various regions of Asia. Whether Peter directed his letter to a specific group or not, it is a matter of encouragement to all Christians mm -hmm. who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, even though, I mean, even those of us today who have accepted the truth of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ as our Savior. It is a letter of encouragement, mm -hmm. even unto mm -hmm. us. Peter's Episcopal is, the, is, is important for our hearing on this morning, and we really need to focus on what he's saying to us. Uh, now, with these motivational words that he spoke to the church, mm -hmm. uh, in this letter, we are assured there is victory over suffering. Mm -hmm. Somebody ought to give God praise. Yes. Victory, victory, victory over suffering. Victory over suffering. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. You know, it's hard to, it's hard to see it, but it is. Huh? Now, now, can anyone tell me your thoughts pertaining to assured victory in suffering, for example, 
how do we get victory uh, out of sorrow, grief, mm. misery, mm. anguish, and loneliness? How can we get victory through suffering? Somebody tell me something this morning to make me understand. Tick-tock. Tick-tock. Amen. Look. So when we get victory because we know the end. Mm. Yes. We go through because we know that there is a conclusion. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Don't get stuck in the middle. Everybody goes through, but the believer has hope yes. at the end of their suffering. Mm -hmm. yes. And so we're not an anomaly. Mm. We've just been blessed by God to be able to have victory in the midst of our trials and at the end of it too. Amen. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Pastor's disqualified. Amen. Uh, so he done, he done sat up here in, in, inside of a, a less than 30 seconds and tried to teach my class. No that's not fair. But that's pastors. They do that. Amen. Yes, but sir. thank you so much, sir, for helping us out this morning. Amen. You know, answers vary, don't they? Mm -hmm. Amen. But, uh, but we know the words that, that the world's ways are not God's ways. Huh? When we travel through, and you know, Pastor just got through talking about going through. Mm -hmm. huh? And when we travel through the trials of life with faith, this pleases God. Huh? We have the Holy Spirit as our guide and comforter. Therefore, understand, we, when we are going through, mm -hmm. we must look to God. Amen. We must look to God. We need each other, yeah. but we can't carry each other like God can. Mm, that's right. huh? We ain't always there, but God is what? Omni what? Present. Mm -hmm. So we got, oh, oh my goodness, evangelist, He's there. Yes. So we ain't traveling alone, y'all. But you see, the mind get tricked on it. That's right. Huh? So God, we, we, we look to God, and we have to keep our focus, once again, on high, with faith and confidence that the Lord will bring us through. Yes, we have to, oh my, we got to change our mind, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. We got to change our mind. We need each other sometimes to remind us yeah. that you ain't alone, deacon. That's right. You, you ain't traveling by yourself. Mm -hmm. I call up evangelist, evangelist, I just can't make it. Deacon, you ain't by yourself. Have you talked to the Lord? <laughs> Glory to God. Listen for our introduction real quick as we can expedite and get, get through this because I'm wasting a lot of time. Let's go back. And Peter provides comfort. The Apostle Peter wrote 1 Peter to Jewish Christians who were driven out of Jerusalem and scattered throughout Asia Minor. There is much that we too can learn from this letter. He, meaning Peter, wrote to encourage these suffering Christians who were under persecution. Peter was very familiar with persecution himself as he had been beaten, jailed, and had been threatened often as he brought God's message to the people. He had also witnessed firsthand not only fellow Christians dying from the faith, but many being scattered as they sought refuge from persecution. Thus, the church was suffering, and the Apostle Peter sought to bring comfort and hope to them. Amen. Amen. Now, the Apostle Peter could clearly see uh, the anguish of the people of God. Now, how many of you understand that the cares of this world can become overwhelming? Mm -hmm. uh, that, and that those overwhelming cares can result in a loss of hope, mm -hmm. yes. bouts of depression, yes. suicidal thoughts, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and retreat from reality altogether. Yes. But the saints, Peter speaks to the church here, letting them know that they have living hope because Jesus Christ, because of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and the resurrected Savior. What? does living hope do for us today? Mm. What does it do for us today? It gives us hope. It gives yeah. us confidence. Mm -hmm. it, it helps us to go on and to carry on. Now, <clears throat> the Jesus Christ, the resurrected hope, Peter talked to us about this a little bit mm -hmm. in 1 Peter 1, verses 3 through 6. Deaconess, can you read those for us, please? Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again into a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. And verse 5, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. And verse 6, wherein you will greatly <clears throat> rejoice, through now for a season, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptation. Amen. Now, my friend Simon Peter also known as uh, Cephas, mm -hmm. that's found in John 1, 42, was one of the first followers of Jesus Christ. Now, he was an outspoken and ardent person. He was, he was kind of hard mm -hmm. and one of Jesus' closest friends. Mm -hmm. And he was an apostle and a pillar of the church. Reference to that in Galatians 2 and 9. Mm -hmm. Now, Peter had several failings in his life. Anybody have any failings? Amen. Amen. 
Now still, the Lord who chose him continued to mold him. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. Even with his failings, yes, God continued to mold him mm -hmm. into exactly what the Lord wanted and intended for him Amen. to be. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, like Peter, when we take our eyes off of God, we sink as described in Matthew 14, 28 through 29. Mm -hmm. And like Peter, we can sometimes be swift to draw the sword mm -hmm. against those who provoke us. Yes. John 18, 10. Now, Jesus told Peter he had to drink the cup his father gave him. In other words, Jesus was telling Peter he must go through. Yes. He had to go through. We must learn ourselves, saints of God, how to go through in order to come out mm -hmm. and to and not to sink, y'all, like Peter, when the turbulent winds of life blows and the turbulent waters of trouble rise in our lives. And I assure you this morning, well, I'm quite sure we all know trouble yes. coming. Yes, it, is. it will come out of the blue. Mm -hmm. It comes suddenly upon us. Mm -hmm. You know, the, in the word of God talks about when the enemy comes in like a flood. Mm -hmm. What is our response? Mm -hmm. Lift, lift up, up what? The standards. Holy standards mm -hmm. of God. The standards. We lift up a holy standard because mm -hmm. we are we have not we are able to go through. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we have a lively hope in Christ Jesus. We have the confidence of God. We lift up his standards against the devil and he can't stand against it. He can't. Amen. Amen. So it was Peter, remember, who boasted that he would never forsake the Lord, mm -hmm. even if everyone else did. Mm -hmm. Matthew 26 and 33. And later denied three times that he even knew the Lord. Mm -hmm. Verse 74. Look first here. God had revealed to Peter, God had revealed to Peter who Jesus was. Mm -hmm. The Christ. Mm -hmm. And then God, Jesus acknowledged that. He said, you didn't know that on your own, did he? Mm -hmm except the Lord God told him. Mm -hmm. Now, through all of Peter's ups and downs, put yourself in Peter's shoes, mm -hmm. through all of his ups and downs, yeah. mm -hmm. the Lord Jesus remained, and he remains our loving Lord mm -hmm. and faithful God. Yeah. Jesus reaffirmed Simon as Peter, whose name means rock, in, first, uh, in Matthew 16, 18 to 19, promising that he would be the instrumental, he would be instrumental in establishing Jesus' church. But Jesus himself, is the rock. He is the chief cornerstone yes. upon which the church is built. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, even when Peter let Jesus down, the Lord did not dismiss him. Mm -hmm. Even with, oh, did I say something here? Mm -hmm. Even when he let the Lord down, mm -hmm. he wasn't, the, the Lord didn't dismiss Peter. In Mark 16 and 7, the angel of the Lord uh, told the ladies that go tell the disciples and, and Peter, Peter too. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, Peter must have been feeling some kind of weight. Yeah. For the Lord kept him in mind. Isn't that wonderful, mm -hmm. Pastor? Deacon, was it Peter that was feeling some kind of weight or the other disciples feeling some kind of weight? Because Peter denied the Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. And you know how it is when we slip up, mess up, mm -hmm. on purpose or by mistake. That's right. People will put us out. Out. Yes, yes sir. Out that's right. Mind, out of, <clears throat> they'll put us out of the church. They'll mm -hmm. put us out of heaven. Yes, amen. But he says, go tell my disciples. And Peter, Peter too. Because yeah. mm -hmm. Peter was, God ain't dismissed him. No. We, like Pastor said, sometimes we'll do that to each other. Yes, sir. But God ain't done with him. Amen. Amen. Uh, Peter's letter here in this, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about who Peter was. Not everybody knows. Mm. Okay, now Peter's letter here at 1 Peter 1 through uh, verse 3 through 6, as he writes to these dispersed and troubled and varied believers, words of encouragement. Remember, he's encouraging them. Yeah. Saints, have any one of us ever been encouraged by a man or a woman of God uh, and found our strength returned? Yes. Amen. We need each other. Yes. I have felt like I was sinking. Mm -hmm. I have, y'all, many times in my walk with Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, but, and have been encouraged many times by good brethren. Many times. But a lot of times, I have to have had to encourage myself through prayer. Amen. Yes. And sometimes you have to do that. Okay? Through prayer, you have to learn how to encourage yourself. Because God is there with for us always, always, always uh, offering me this new and lively and living hope. In verse 3, Peter said to them that he praised God. He always give God the praise mm -hmm. first. The Father of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Because it is by his great mercy mm -hmm. that, he have, that we have been born again. Now, because God raised Jesus from the dead, that's why he's saying that he had to drink from this cup. Mm -hmm. That's why he was trying to explain this thing to Peter. He had to suffer, saints, 
for all mankind's sin, for us to be saved. Peter didn't seem to understand this, huh? that Jesus was, was, was born for this very purpose. Mm -hmm. That's why he was trying to talk to the Lord. You mean by you're going you're gonna to die? Mm -hmm. he, and he said, Lord, mm -hmm. should I not drink from this cup that my father gave me? You know, Jesus talked to the Lord about that cup, mm -hmm. if it be thy will. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see what I'm saying? Get, let this cup be removed. But nevertheless, what? Thy will yeah. be done. Yeah. Amen. So uh, he also wanted them to know in this lesson that they have and we have an invaluable inheritance. Note the scripture. That is irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Somebody say, praise our God. Praise our God. An inheritance Amen. that's irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. No one can touch it. No mm -hmm. one can take away your salvation. Mm -hmm. This inheritance is not like that that's given by man. But this inheritance that we have is waiting on us in heaven. That's why I'm saying to you, we're traveling through this world, but we ain't here forever. We got a greater inheritance coming our way. I might not have a dime left in the bank, Pastor, but I got an inheritance. I got an inheritance. I got an inheritance. Don't you see? That's why we can have this hope. We, we ain't going to be here long, but we got something great and important. What does it say? Non-perishable, mm -hmm. waiting for us. No, it's not corruptible. Mm -hmm. It is pure. Oh, my God. And it's everlasting yeah. to yeah. everlasting. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Peter said it is pure, undefiled, and beyond the reach of decay. Now, everything we got here, you know it's going to fall apart. Right. Uh, my brothers, I can only imagine at this point as Peter is writing this letter and is being motivated by the Spirit as he's talking to the people, saying, lift up your head, saints. Mm. Yeah. Lift up your head. Y'all, yeah. Yo, come on. You should be overwhelmed with joy, as the scripture describes. What God has for you will never be lost or damaged. Mm. Don't you hate when somebody damaged your stuff? Mm. You mess it up for you. <laughs> it will not be stolen. Thieves. Mm. The devil can't get there. It won't be stolen. Huh? It is invaluable, and you didn't have to pay for it. That's right. What? That's right. You didn't have to pay for it. Why? Because Jesus Christ himself okay. paid right. the price yes, already yes, for yes. this invaluable inheritance, yes. which is thou your salvation. Yes. What a gift, saints. Mm. What a gift. A, gift. A, a free gift if you want it. Mm. Y'all hear that out there in, in, in uh, what is that, um, Facebook land? Yes. If yes. you yes. want yes. it. Yes. Now, what am I, why did you say that? Deacon Knox, got, Deacon Knox got enough sense to know that everybody ain't saved. Yes. That's right. Let's just call it the way it is. Yes, sir. All right, now, let's move on because I don't want to preach. Pastor, do that. Anyway, mm -hmm. and in here in verse 5, mm -hmm. Peter lets the church know something wonderfully important. I think it's very important for us to understand verse 5. Peter said, through your faith, mm -hmm. God is protecting you. Mm -hmm. Listen to that. Mm -hmm. Through your faith, God is protecting you by his power until you receive this salvation, which is ready to be revealed to you. Oh, he's sitting, he's sitting there holding it. Yeah. He said, now therefore be faithful unto death. Mm -hmm. Be faithful until you meet him on that last day. All we have to do is hold on to Jesus Christ's That's hand. Right. He right. has it waiting for us. Your inheritance is sitting there. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is walk, walk with faith. And I ask life is going to challenge you. Of course it yeah. is. But walk on anyway. Mm -hmm. Walk on through the valley saints. Mm -hmm. We got this. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, we getting beat. Yo, sis, now you know how things are. But he said, your inheritance is waiting Wait. for you Amen. in heaven. Yes. Now, I want you to hold on to knowing that the shed blood of Jesus Christ not only brings hope of eternal life, mm -hmm. but a lively hope to all humankind if they will accept and trust the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. as Savior. That means what we see when we consider our futures brings positive and joyful and hopefulness to our heart because we're holding on to Christ. We, we are traveling through this land and, and after a while, after a while, mm. it will be revealed to us Amen. this great and, and, and yeah. wonderful inheritance that awaits for those that trust the Lord. Yeah. Hold on to his hand. Yeah. Let us not faint. Whereas the cares of this world, saints of God, only produces yeah. dead hope. Mm. Yes, huh? Absolutely nothing, nothing, nothing to look forward to other than death. Since when, somebody tell me, have the trials of this life brought forth joy to the world? Mm. Oh, it's quiet. That's right. It don't. It don't. It Not simply don't do it. Does it, Deacon Duncan? Have you ever seen it? I haven't. You, you evangelists, the, 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 the trials of this life, it don't bring forth joy. It brings forth a dead hope. Mm -hmm. it, it, all you got to do is just calm yourself and pay attention. But listen to me. We have a living hope. Yes, yes. amen. 
lively, yes. huh? Live yes. and spirited. We are good. <laughs> People are like them Christians are crazy. We are actually the ones that sing. Right. Glory to right. God. Right. Yeah. Right. Because we have this lively hope through Jesus Christ, we can find joy even while in the midst of trial. Right. Even think it, it consider Daniel then, and he and his three companions over there in Daniel one. Mm. They went through, didn't they? But they yeah. never denied the faith, did they? Huh? When you read the story about Daniel and his and his companions, right? Which of you wants to be confronted with being tossed into mm. a a a heated furnace? Mm. What? Mm. Uh, which one of you want to be locked in some room with some hungry lions? Mm. What? They didn't blink. Mm -mm. Amen. They're the sake. Look at the faith, yes. and they went through something. Never denied the faith, huh? They knew who their God was. We got to know who our, where our inheritance lie, and we can't put our hope into things in this world. We can't lay up our treasures down here because it's going to corrupt. Yes, it is. And it's, it's going to be touched by the corrupted. Yes. And, and it's corrupt anyway, most likely, mm -hmm. because this world is corrupt. Mm -hmm. Now, come on. We are, oh, we are, we are sanctified, set aside. Yes, Smith, uh, evangelists, we don't, we, we just, we just strangers here. We just traveling. Mm -hmm. But our hope is not here. God gave us a lively hope, a yes, living hope. Yes. And, and our inheritance is in uh, waiting for us in heaven. Now Peter writes in 1 Peter 2 and 5 of saints lit being lively stones mm -hmm. or living stones being built up mm -hmm. into God's spiritual temples. Mm -hmm. Now this combina combination of a lively hope and a lively stone allows us to have victory mm -hmm. over the cares of this world. Mm -hmm. In that we are not standing on our own, but we are on the strength of the chief cornerstone, the Lord Jesus Christ, and in his spirit that dwells within us. Okay. We stand in he building us up on his, on his foundation, the foundation that, that he has already laid. We are simply being built up on it. And, and by his Holy Spirit dwelling in us, mm. he'll guide us yes, he even will. through the trials of life. Now in verse 6, he said, there is wonderful joy ahead. That tells me that I'm traveling. Mm -hmm. Joy ahead mm -hmm. as we travel through this life, this world today, in these turbulent times. Now, as we are going through with heaviness in this season of manifold temptations, mm -hmm. you must endure, he said in the scripture here, for a little while. Yeah. Just a little while. This life is, and its trials may seem like an eternity, saints, mm -hmm. but it's only for a little oh. while. And I'm sure that Job, for instance, if you read the Job chapter 3 and 6, in his time of temptation, uh, Linda, as he was tried by suffering, he must have felt like it was an eternity. Mm -hmm. When you read about what he went through, it must have seemed like it was so, forever, mm -hmm. but it was only for a season. Uh, James 4 and 1 says to us, for what is your life? Mm -hmm. It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanishes so, away. Mm -hmm. So what I, why did you say that, Dee? Well, our lives on this earth are not in eternity. That's right. Huh? Neither are the trials of this life. They're only a test for mm -hmm. a little while. Mm -hmm. So we can we can overcome. So throw uh, we can go through the fire and come out as a good goal when we hold on and walk through faith. Question. I need someone to that's bold enough to tell me this morning, how do you endure? Don't 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 mess with me now. Tell me how you endure mm. when you're going through trials. Anybody? TikTok. I ain't talking about the app either. I'm talking about you ain't got me. Come on now. You pray? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, playlist. Like a praise song, like like praise songs of, of things that encourage you yeah. and so forth. Okay, mm -hmm. what 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 you do? What you have to do? Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. But we're going through. Everybody don't cope the same way. That's right. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Everybody don't going through the same things. Everybody has issues. Right. I promise you this. Mm -hmm. But what do, what is it that this lesson telling us that we have? Mm -hmm. Hope. What kind of hope? Lively. A lively hope, a living hope. Mm -hmm. And how are we going through? Mm -hmm. Come on, Deacon, uh, Deacon, what, talk to me. You looking at me, say something to me. Well, I, 
You 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 said you you remember where he already done right, brought you from, right. and how he brought you out, and that encourages you to move on forward. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Now I want you to understand something. I told you something some time ago in the past in a Sunday school class. Uh, remember what I said that there's no talking during the test. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. uh, that and our teacher is not like a school teacher. Mm -hmm that leaves the classroom and leave you out there, you raise your hand, ain't nobody there because they don't left the room and left you and they're struggling on the test. Mm. Huh? I teach us not like that. Mm -mm. Uh, and, you don't, and you have no help when they, when they leave you out there by yourself during the test. But our teacher, mm. the Holy Spirit, is always with us. Mm -hmm. huh? So no talking. Mm. The Holy Spirit never leaves us. Mm -hmm. So no talking, no complaining, mm -hmm. no fainting, no crying. Mm -hmm. Just raise your hand. Yes. Mm -hmm and the Holy Spirit comes. Mm. Look, God is in the room with you all the time during the test. When we're going through, we have to be reminded. That's no right. talking during the test, y'all. Just raise your hand. Raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Just like you would in you in school when, you, when you're stuck, just raise, your, raise your hand. He's there for us. I was taught that one time by a pastor back over from White Oak Baptist Church over in Greensboro. Mm -hmm. and it never left me. Mm. But I, I'll be the first to admit to you sometime I forget that. Mm. Y'all, y'all, are we human? Because we, we, yeah. we'll forget our instructions just like that by being distracted by the trials of this life. Mm -hmm. But no talking. Sometimes we talk too much. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. No talking. Amen. The Sunday School Commentary teaches that perhaps like Job, you have been considered by God to go through hardships. Therefore, he said to rejoice and during the fiery test and trials that engulf you. Trust that God will be with you through it all. Amen. Through it all. You're not walking alone. We have to change our mind about some stuff, Pastor. Yes, sir. We are not walking alone. Yes, Sometimes, sir. you know, people tell you, you're crazy if you're talking to yourself. Well, then be crazy and say to yourself, I'm not by myself. Amen. God Amen. is with me. Amen. Talk to yourself. Yes, you ain't crazy. You, I tell you what, it's better than sitting there letting the enemy talk to you. Yes, talk to yourself. Yes. Tell him. I'm not alone in this mm -hmm. thing. Yes. Take the time to learn what the purpose of these experiences are. Mm -hmm. They exist to make us and not to break us. Mm -hmm. They will lead us to a blessed and expecting end. Saints yes. of God, this is good advice. Um, Peter continues to minister to the church in this epistle mm -hmm. when he addresses the, tri the, uh, the triumphant victory through the trials of your faith. They are triumphant victory through going through mm -hmm. the trials with faith. Amen. Deaconess, please give us... Uh, Verse 6 again, and then pick up part 2 at verse 7 through 12. And verse 6, wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through the manifold temptations. And verse 7, the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold, that, per that perish through it be tried with fire, might be found to praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ, whom having not seen ye love, and whom though now ye see him not, Yet believing, you rejoice with great joy, unspeakable, and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your soul, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, searching what of what manner of time the Spirit of Christ, which was in them, did signify when it testified beforehand the suffering of Christ and the glory that should follow. In verse 12, unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us that they did minister the things which are not reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Amen. Amen. Here in 1 Peter uh, 1, and picking up at verse 7, the main thing is almost, I'm just going to review this a little mm -hmm. for the sake of time. Now, verse 7 through 8, uh, the main thing I want us to hear is that the, that the trial or test will show that your faith is genuine. Hmm? That tells me that I can expect test. Mm -hmm. And it's more precious, it says, that than gold that won't last. Mm -hmm. Genuine faith that's tested, but 
as you are tried in the fire of life, mm -hmm. that being all manner of temptations, let the fire be your purifier, mm -hmm. huh? as it does with precious gold, that we may meet the Lord with honor. Go through the test with honor. Amen. Go through the test of whatever it is in prayer. Go through the test with faith. Go through the test with confidence. Amen. Amen. Verse 8, Peter said, even though we haven't seen Jesus, has any of us seen Jesus? Mm. He was speaking to them and said, even though we haven't seen Jesus, mm -hmm. that we still don't see him now. Huh? Mm. We are believers. Amen. That's, that right there is a foundation of our faith. We are believers. believers. And we tr still trust in him. Our faith is not based on things that are seen, thanks to God. Mm. Huh? We are happy because his spirit dwells within our temple in our body, which is the temple of the living God. Amen. And then in verse 9 through 10 reveals to us that Peter said, the reward, here we go now. Mm -hmm. uh, don't give me no plaque, because mm -hmm. that's, that's going to that's gonna fade, sis. I don't yeah. need no plaque. Mm -hmm. I don't need no gold watch either. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you can keep your money. Mm -hmm. I, matter of fact, you know that now, now a carnal mind ain't going to understand that. Give me the money. <laughs> I'll take the money. Give it to me. No, and we ain't talking about that. That's right. You're talking about the reward for trusting Jesus will be the salvation of your soul, Amen. of your very yeah. soul. How and what, what, would, what, would, what would a man give mm. in exchange for his soul? Mm. Huh? Saints, God, we're talking about eternity here. That's right. The reward for your salvation, for, for, for your trust in Jesus, is the saving of your own soul. Amen. 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 Glory Amen. to God. Amen. So, so, uh, so keep the faith, saints. Mm. And then over there in verse 10, even the prophets of old wanted to know more about this gracious salvation that was prepared for you and I. Mm -hmm. Now, even during their time, if we look at the scripture here, mm -hmm. uh, they realized what the Spirit was revealing to them concerning Jesus Christ and salvation was an awesome event to yeah. come for mankind. Uh, and wanted to, they even wanted to know more about it then. And I'm talking about this is way yeah. B.C., yeah. way back, the prophets of old. When the Lord put it in their spirit, and they began to talk about the coming Messiah mm -hmm. and the events that would follow. They were like, what? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they got, listen to this thing, and the spirit mm -hmm. is speaking to them. Peter said in verse 11 that the prophets wondered, mm -hmm. what time frame? When, when is this going to happen? Mm -hmm. What time frame the spirit of the Lord within them in the person of the Holy Spirit was talking about? When he told them in advance about the coming Messiah and Christ's suffering, in his great glory that was destined to follow. When will all of this take place? Mm -hmm. They're asking this of the Lord in mm -hmm. their spirit, in their heart. And, you know, I could see them recording these things, uh, scribes writing and, and their spirit speaking to them. And they said, in verse 12 says that, let us, uh, it, it lets us know that it was revealed mm -hmm. to them. Now, how was that happen? How do you think that happened? By the spirit of the Lord. Mm -hmm. It was revealed to them that this prophecy was not for their time. Mm -hmm. These were things to come in the future. It is to us, you and I, the people after the cross. It was at, it was to them, you know, over there in the, in the New Testament. It was them that they was writing this, you know, they were projecting this too. He said that um, these things in the are uh, things that are coming in the future. So he was ministering to us what we that are on this side of the cross. Mm -hmm. And this is and it is these apostles, these preachers that uh, have the privilege now under the anointing of the Holy Spirit that was sent from heaven mm -hmm. that have the privilege of preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to this lost world. They have, this, it, note the word privilege, mm. to preach. Mm -hmm. Even the angels of, of heaven, even they are eagerly watching all of this, watching the events that's mm -hmm. taking place. They are observing the church to try to figure out God's amazing grace, Amen. his amazing grace yeah. that he shared on these, these human beings. Now, in our closing this morning, and we want to uh, reference the Church of God in Christ uh, Sunday School uh, interpretive expository on the uh, hermeneutics, if you want to call it that, or the interpretation of the mm -hmm. text. And it, it was interesting what it read. It kind of summarized a few things for us this morning. I'm going to let Deacon Knotts, give, Deacon Knotts give that for you on this morning. And it read, hope sometimes feels elusive with negativity flowing all around us. Finding a solid footing in our faith may seem impossible. Afflictions are designed for the testing of our faith. God's design in afflicting his people can be comp compared to being on probation. Trials are not designed to ruin or destroy 
but to work towards the saint's advantage. A trial is an examination or exercise placed upon an individual by some affliction to prove the value and strength of his or her faith. Faith must be maintained and last until one makes it to heaven. Faith is what God wants from his people. I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And that's Luke 22, 32. And let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we are humbled by your love, grace, and mercy to give you life for ours. Your death and resurrection are blessings beyond more than we can imagine. Thank you for allowing us to know the joy of embracing hope and living hope to encourage one another in our daily lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. 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 And, we, and we thank God for you this morning for joining us this morning. Amen. And I just want you to keep the memory verse in mind. Mm -hmm. Blessed be the God. Mm -hmm. And the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant blessing, yes. his abundant mercy, mm -hmm. hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. First Peter 1 and 3. Um, are there any questions or comment before we, mm -hmm. before we close out? Evangelist? Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Glory to our God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. We are complete. See if someone want to get um, our. Um, mm -mm -mm. Anyway, thank you for being with us today. Uh, we always encourage you to study for yourselves, and we hope that somehow we have said something Amen. that will encourage each and every one of you on this morning. We want to thank God for you always and we always want to pray for one another let's give god glory this morning let's give god some praise this morning thank god for you